Joe Walsh, the man. Absolute legend. I feel like he's one of the most underrated guitar legends out there. And I was like, we got to do a guitar hacks video on him. Shredded up fingers or not, it's happening. So if my, my bins are extra sloppy, Joe, I'll just blame it on the, on the band-aids. So we're talking about Joe Walsh, like I said, and he has so many cool things. But in these guitar hack videos, I want to show you one idea from him. And then I'm going to show you two ways that you could incorporate it into your own playing. So I got tabs for you linked down below. Yo, let's get it. Sloppy Joe. So the hack that I'm talking about is Joe's use of pre-bends. You hear it all over, stuff from the James Gang, his solo career, all kinds of stuff. He does it all the time, and I really feel like it comes from him being such a good slide player. Because if you listen to the way that he does his pre-bends, you can almost hear it's like a slide effect. So think about Funk 49. He does it. <laughs> Boom, pre-bend right there, and then... So we're going to focus on his pre-bending that he does in Life's Been Good. That solo is just a complete masterclass on how to do this. And like I said, listen for that slide trait that he has in there. So we're going to do this. Okay, so real simple licks. It's not going to be like a real complex lesson. But if you're not used to doing pre-bends, they're so cool. So a pre-bend is basically where you bend the note before you play it and let the note fall down to pitch. You know, we're always bending up to notes. Think of all your blues licks. You're always bending up. Pre-bend them. I'm telling you, if you want to get that Joe Walsh uh, effect going on. So we're up here. Think of it as your A major pentatonic scale. And what he starts off with is kind of just a standard style of blues lick. You're going to bend 16 on the G up a full step. Then you go to 17 on the B to 14 on the high E string. Okay, it's all, you know, straight up normal right there. And then he's like, I'm Joe Walsh, let me make it really cool. So he goes like this. So. Right there, there's, there's the coolness that I wouldn't have thought of because I'm not Joe Walsh. So after you do that first part, okay, you're on that 14, you go back to 16, but you're going to pre-bend it. So notice how I'm bending the string up before I ever play it, pick it, let the note fall down, then go back to 14 on the G. That's what Joe does. He does like a thousand different variations of it in that solo, but. Okay, now we do it again. Except don't, don't go sharp, go to pitch. Okay, so what I did there was I bent that 16 again. Okay, and I go straight to 14 this time. So 16 on the G, bend, 14 on the high string, 17 on the B, pre-bend. So bend it back up. Okay, so that whole section would go like this. Okay, that's just the lick there, just to get those pre-bends under your fingers. So. Now that you got that, let's take it into some more standard blues licks and just mix them up a little bit, make them a little bit funky. So here's the first one. We're going to change up, kind of make it our own lick. Okay, there we have it. Now, normally you'd play that lick probably like this. You know, that's the way it's always been played, but we're adding a pre-bend to the very beginning of it. Instead of bending up, we're bending down. So we're starting with a pre-bend on 14th fret of the G. Think of this as just being your E minor pentatonic scale. With your fingers wrapped up in band-aids. Oh wait, that's just me, not you, Never mind. So we're gonna bend 16 on the G and you let it fall down. So just remember, you bend it before you pick the note and let the note fall. That's how you get that falling sound to it. So we're doing that and then you're gonna go to 12 on the high E string, 12 on the B, which I'm just barring with my index finger at that point. Then you're going to go to the 15 on the beat, bend it up a full step, and then do the barring action again, 12, 12 on that high E to B string. So I literally have played this like a thousand times wrong because my band-aids keep grabbing that little barring action there. So you have an easier time with it than me. But it's just those little subtle things. I feel like whenever you hear a player do that stuff, 
you're like, yo, that's cool. What'd you do there? And then you learn it and you're like, oh, that's the same lick I've always played. They just changed one thing. So there's lick example number one. All right, on to the next lick, and this is the final one here. I wanted to give you kind of like a pentatonic run where a lot of times we end the licks like this. You know, always bending up to the note and then you kind of go back to your root. We're gonna throw a pre-bend in here. So we're going like this. Doesn't it, it, it almost has that like Joe Walshy sound to it. As soon as you do that pre-bend, that's just who I think of. So we're, all we're doing is, again, E minor pentatonic scale, kind of this pedal tone-ish idea. Into the pre-bend, resolving it. So I'm just gonna go to 14 on the G. Now I'm using my middle finger. Uh, if you have smaller hands, you could totally use your ring finger here if you wanted to. But uh, I tend to do the you know, three finger stretch here a lot. So I go 14 on the G. Then I go to 12 on the B. Back to 14 on the G. So 15 on the B. Back to 14. Back to 12 on the B. To 14 on the G. So that's kind of the first step. You gotta get that under your fingers first. Okay, if you can do that, then the next part's pretty easy. Okay, now you're gonna go to 15 on the high E string. So I guess the complex part here is we're skipping a string now. So you go straight from 14 on the G, 15 on the high E string, pre-bend it. Okay, let that fall, 12. We're just adding a little bit of extra flavor to kind of like a, a more scaly, sounding lick, doesn't have a lot going on. Uh, you know, we end it with some nice phrasing, so that's really what you want to do with this kind of pre-bend style. Uh, Slash is another one that does this a lot in his playing as well. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Sorry if the playing was a little bit sloppy Joe today, because man, it, you don't even know how many times I had to replay those licks. The band-aids kept hitting the strings, so hopefully next week, hands will be back. Uh, how did I do this? I, I was carrying Christmas stuff, fighting a bear. I don't know. So other than that, I'll see you guys all later. Have a good weekend, and we out. End of bluesy.